Welcome to the 2019 Africa Science Week Kenya. My name is Dr. Rose M. Mutiso and I am the next Einstein Forum Ambassador representing Kenya. This year our theme is Girls and Women in Science and it's a great follow-up to our theme last year in 2018 which was around science at work in Kenya in which we were working to diversify um, definitions of science and scientists and to make it seem accessible and important to everyday people in Kenya. And basically the objectives of this program is one, to expose the girls on admission criteria of STEM subjects, of science subjects. And uh, in, 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 uh, incidentally, because of the perception they have about these things, they do not even care to know that Kube, they are even able to, to make it to a science career. If I'm passionate about an innovation, I should be more interested in where the innovation is gonna get than whether I'm the one who's gonna drive it. As a follower, find the person who will move your idea forward, not necessarily you. And really understanding that leadership is about serving and that you take a lot of hits when you're the sharp tip of the arrow, all the friction is on your head and that that is an act of service to me, that then is a critical element of understanding what leadership is. If you've read Long Walk to Freedom by Nelson Mandela, imagine yourself in a prison. How would you be a leader in a prison? That's the kind of leadership we want to talk about here. Be a valuable player. A person who brings value wherever you go. There is no point at which anyone ever finishes being a leader. And what I've seen is that in that case, then if you think about it like that, you realize that even if you, you know, you're in a setup where you're kind of supposed to be following, you're becoming a leader. Like for example, I said I worked in the hospital and I was a junior intern, but during that time I was learning the ropes. I was learning about everything that works in how hospital healthcare works. As a woman, what defines us is our strength strength to deal with everything, our versatility to deal with everything that is thrown at us. Why we need more women in spaces is so that we expose ourselves and allow ourselves to benefit from the broad range of female experiences that are out there. If I'm the cabinet secretary in terms of, of, of water, is Nairobi River clean? To me, hopefully that would be a woman's mindset, normally. If I'm in treasury, how much are we borrowing? How much can we do with the money we have? A big barrier for women is about harassment and inclusivity in the workplace in a way that is very structural and sometimes is not able to be uh, addressed in the current way that the framework is set. Uh, I would give more opportunities for women to deliver actual work. Um, I'd follow the money, follow budgets. Um, do women have access to uh, equal amounts of research budgets? Do women have uh, access to budgets of organizations, budgets of nations, budgets of, of um, families? I would follow the money because I think that's where the rain starts to beat us. If I had the ability to ch make a change, I would maybe focus more on the environment. What does the environment do to hinder us? Two things, I really despise the safe space notion because as women, we don't need to be in safe spaces to say what we need to say. So I, I argue for, if I have something to say, it should be in a space where there are men and women so that everyone hears the narrative because if I want change, real change, and then I exclude the men in that conversation. We're not actually going to make the change. That the reason we want more women in spaces is so that we can, everyone gets comfortable with the full expression of, of womanhood that is possible. And that is also the same conversation for men. There are men who are wonderful, nurturers, and that we are losing out a lot as a society by running institutions and running communities, running organizations where men are expected to show up 
as not nurturers. Not all the women are eager for all this leadership we're talking about. That is my observation. Statistically, if, you're, if there are 100 women in the room, I think 70% are not eager and fasting, looking for role models and want to do bigger things. They are happy to come at work, do the minimum required, and go back home. Stop having this pressure to be liked. If you want to succeed, if you want to go far, if you want to make a difference, if you, have, if you want to have impact, stop having this pressure that you want to be liked and stop seeking approval. That is the self-care that I would recommend for you as women, <laughs> as you balance your balls. But I think what's more really important and really positive is that every one of you has really engaged in mentorship and in trying to pass on skills and be a good role model and ensure that the people who are coming up behind you can, you know, learn from your example and also, I presume, you know, learn from maybe some mistakes you've made, which is always really important. Mm -hmm.